and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jonathan, aka Fox and Ariel. And in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about something which I find quite serious, uh, which is spamming emails and messages from people claiming to sell services. Let's get on with it. So, first and foremost, disclaimer. Many people that have been messaging me on several pages, which includes Discord, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and other pages as well, claim to be selling services via a page called Fiverr. I have no information on this page. I am not allowed to work with this page uh, due to other, other contracts which I have signed over 15 years ago because I am a freelancer and a freelance dancing teacher uh, and I have signed a contract with a dancing studio uh, a long time ago and I will explain this more further in so when it comes to this page Fiverr I have nothing on them I don't know anything about them so if people are working with them and they find that they are good good for you if you are working with them and find that they are not good I'm sorry to hear that but I have no information on them I do not claim that they are good, I don't claim that they are bad, I don't know anything. Let's get on with the video. So when I woke up this morning, I had a person, which I will refer to as them, because I do not know if they are male or female or whatever pronoun they use. They claim to be selling growth services for Twitch, which they claim are organic and which they claim are aligned with Twitch TOS. This is within a 99% uh, or I would even almost dare to say a hundred percent bullshit because buying growth services is more or less uh, no mm -mm, don't do it just don't do it if you are provided hundred percent proof that whatever a person is trying to sell you is legitimate that's a different story Will they provide you with proof? Probably not. Will they try to make you pay for a service anyway? Yes. Should you... Uh, should you um, get hooked on this? No. Mm -mm. No. Because in my experience, over... I would, I would, I would even dare to say 150% of the time, which is like over 100%, which is like... Not possible, but still. They always say, hi. And it's always the same kind of message line. They do write a bit differently, but it's kind of the same. It's, it's still within the same same area. Like, oh, do you stream? Do you do this? Oh, are you this? Blah, blah, blah. And if you answer yes, no, well, oh, I have this. And it's always like, it's always a question that leads up to what I have this service. So it's kind of in with the same, they used like kind of the same curriculum with like, different sentences um, so it's still but it still ends up like I am selling this uh, which is organic growth on YouTube Twitch Insta Twitter blah 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 which is 99.9% bullshit because when you look at their their accounts they are usually only having one picture on or either their account is private and they're like no followers whatsoever they are usually following like several thousands of people, which are apparently uh, fake accounts. Um, and I only speak of what I have seen from my own experience. So I do not claim that this is for every, uh, that this is like this for every single thing. But this is only from my own experience of what I have seen. So this morning when I woke up, this person claimed to be selling Twitch to, uh, like growth on blah 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 and they were aligned with Twitch 2S and whatnot and they claimed to be work, working from the page Fiverr. Uh, and I was like, that's great, good for you. But I am not, no, thank you, I'm, I'm fine. And it's always, oh, we will help you grow. And they, they always use we as in that you have already decided that you are going to do this. Which is like... Why would you even s no even th that's that's the first warning bell right there that they are just assuming that you have already made up your mind big warning bell 
Mm -mm. Big red flag. And also, this person did not provide proof. They mentioned Fiverr, but did not provide any proof whatsoever. No links, no evidence, nothing. Which is also another huge warning flag. The same is on Discord, Instagram, and everywhere else. It's always a DM. And just a little side note, within several Discords that I'm in, if you look at the rules on several Discords, for example, uh, a few company Discords like TubeBuddy or Stream Captain or whatnot, that provides services. For example, TubeBuddy provides a YouTube extension tool, which I use, which I find amazing. Uh, Stream Captain, uh, which have a add-on game for Twitch called Stream Raiders, which viewers can join in and play games and play units on a battlefield, which they then can get loot from and whatnot. It is within the rules, do not send unsolicited messages. Don't send selling services. Don't send shit to people without permission. And people still do. So, so only by that they are breaking the rules within the uh, within the discords right there. So that's rules broken right there. And when you decline and when you say no, thank you, I'm fine. Thank you for telling me about this, but I'm fine. I'm good. They all of a sudden try to make you buy their services, but outside. Of the specific page or whatever service they are claiming to sell all of a sudden they are telling you to buy it even cheaper but privately which is even more breaking the rules because that is also breaking the law which I will get to in a little bit to why that would be breaking the law for me um, which is also like another huge warning flag it's like uh, -uh no and also, especially like on Instagram, especially and like on Twitter, uh, when they provide like, oh, I have a service that is this and this and this, and it's organic. And it's always like, oh, it's organic. I was like, no, it's not. Because I'm not going to buy followers. I'm not going to buy anything. Because, no, thank you. I can, I, I, I can manage it on my own, thank you. I might not have a super speedy growth, but I'm not looking for a super speedy growth. I am not looking for a three-day ride because uh, to, to then fail and get banned or yeeted. I am not looking for that. I'm looking to do things in my own pace. If I lose people, I lose people. If I gain people, I gain people. That's how things work. You do not control where your followers come from. You do not control if they stay. You do not control if they like or dislike your content. You do not control your viewers, or followers, or subscribers, or anything. You do not. You will never do. So, again, you do not control your viewers. But all the accounts I've seen, all the accounts I've seen, uh, and it's always like they have like a mutual server, for example, uh, which is like if it's on like Discord, it's always a mutual server. But if you look up the names and if you look look up their IDs in this specific server that you might be mutual uh, in, uh, they have never written any message ever. There is no message history whatsoever, which is again a huge warning flag. They have not done an introduction. They have not even written hello once. Because they all spam people through and through. Buy my service because uh, it's organic and it's probably like bullshit. On Instagram, when people say I am a professional organic grow, yada yada, whatnot, analytic designer, pfft, always have like one or two followers, perhaps even five. Ooh. And they have one picture of some random dude somewhere on the other side of the earth. They have no proof whatsoever. It just says, they just have written in the description and said professional analytic person, whatnot, and having money bags and dollar signs and whatever. But they do provide no proof, no statistics, nothing. Almost, almost 90, 98% of the time they don't 
even provide a link to anything that will help them to prove that they are speaking the truth. So if anybody contacts you privately and saying, hi, I'm working with this server thingamajiggy and or wh- whatever, 99.9% of the time they will never provide you with any proof. And also 99% of the time if you decline, they will try to make you pay for a service, but then they will move from what they are trying to sell you, so they are trying to make you pay them privately, which is even worse, because mm, if we move to why, for example, I would be breaking the law if I did this. For example, I am a pole dance teacher and I've been a pole dance teacher for a long time. I signed a contract with the studio that I'm with over 15 years ago. Over 15 years ago. Have a taste on that. Over 15 years ago. And within these 15 years, I know the rules. If I wouldn't have learned the rules which I am allowed to work within, or, or because there are some rules that I am allowed to bend uh, if there isn't like an emergency, for example, if something happens, I need to do something. But also it is very clear which rule, if within my contract there are a very, very, very clear which rules I am allowed to bend and which rules I am allowed to not bend without permission from my boss, for example. And it's also very, very clearly written in the contract that I have that I am allowed to do certain things uh, without consulting my boss and some things I will have to consult my boss every single time for some specific things before I make a decision. So it depends on what it is. But everything is very, very clear on what I am allowed to do or not. So since I am a freelancer, a freelance dancing teacher, uh, this means I am a member of a freelancing page, which I am doing all my things in, uh, because my boss, like if you would work in a grocery store, for example, you have you 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 sign your contract, and then you get paid your monthly salary, for example. In this case, because I am a freelancer, I send a bill to my boss, which then pay that bill, which then makes me get my salary. Which means that I pay my own employment taxes. So I have basically hired myself. So I provide a service to the studio, which I have signed a contract with. And uh, this means that then again, I will have to abide by certain rules. Which also means that one of the rules that I have to abide by is no competitive companies uh, am I allowed to work with. And within these rules, within the fine print of this rule, it says that I am not allowed to work within other companies that are freelancing. And also I'm bound by the law in my country to do certain things. And uh, if I would be joining Fiverr, I would be breaking that contract, which I have with my studio, Mm, which I'm not going to do, obviously. And also buying services from people who claim to be selling growth services, which is 99% chance of being bullshit. (laughs) I will definitely not do that because that is against Twitch TOS and YouTube TOS. (laughs) Uh, So yes. So with all this said, ladies and gentle spoons, never ever buy anything from anyone that claim to be selling a growth service because it is by almost, I I would even say almost 110% guaranteed to be shit unless proven otherwise. If they don't give you any proof, especially, especially if they all of a sudden says that, oh, but you can pay me outside of this and it's gonna get even cheaper for you, which in the long run, if you do that, would probably get more expensive because you will only get your shit hitting the fan. So don't do it. Okay. And this is, again, if you get a message on Instagram, or if you get a message on Twitter, or Discord, or a private message on Twitch, or whatever, (laughs) don't buy services that you don't have any proof of that they are legitimate, because you will only ending up getting banned from whatever page that you're on. Just don't do it, okay? Good. 
Now, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's staying safe. Please stay safe and use your brains because because no, just just don't buy shit that claims to be organic when they're 110% guaranteed to not to be and uh, because it's always the same it's always the same message line it's always it's always the same kind of thing and they will always try to make you buy stuff oh but honey i provide a service and and in my experience if it's been a woman talking to me they're always just like oh honey but i provide a good service they they are like texting me and writing stuff to me that they just claim to to like like this person that texted me today according to like uh, I can grow your Twitch channel organically. He just, oh, I know that you have money. That was one of the messages I got from this person. I don't know if it's a he or she, I'm sorry. But they, I know that you have money. I was like, how could you possibly know if I have money or not? Excuse you? I don't know you. I've never spoken to you. Don't assume that you know that I have things. And, I mean, being a freelancing dancing teacher, working and trying to work within a pandemic it's not providing a lot of cash i've been basically been sitting on my ass for two and a half years due to covid and a burnout i'm not working anywhere for the moment i'm i still do have the job the dancing job even though i don't do anything with it for the moment due to the pandemic because mm -hmm, it's a pandemic and being a pole dance teacher Kind of, you have to be like, kind of up in people's faces. And I don't want that. Because I want to, um, I don't want to get sick. Cheers. So in conclusion, ladies and gentle spoons, if you get a message on any page, which you are a member of, that's saying that they are selling organic services, don't do it. Because it is within 99.9% uh, 99 .9 of the time, bullshit if they can provide you with facts like real heavy facts like boom this is it this is what i do this is bum, 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 bum. and they have like reviews from people and shit that's a different story but 99.9 .9 of the time they will not and they will try to persuade you until you get so tired of them that you basically either blocking them so don't Ever give in. Never, ever, ever give in. Block, ban, and report him. That is what you should do. So, always fact check. Always double check. Always be reserved. And never, ever agree to something that you n don't have any base or knowledge about. Like this page, Fiverr. I have no idea what this page, page actually is. We can check that actually before we close down. Apparently Fiverr, okay, Fiverr is a freelancing company apparently, right, right, right. Uh, let's do, what is Fiverr? Fiverr works by letting buyers pay in advance for gigs which are any type of freelance services, ranging from web, web design, social media, marketing, to copywriting, yada yada yada. Uh, when Fiverr first launched, all gigs were originally priced at $5, uh, but now freelance and sellers can decide to charge more or offer packages of services. Okay, so Fiverr is a freelancing page of some kind, uh, but I'm still not allowed to work with them or use them because I am already a member of another freelancing company, which then prohibits me to work in other companies which are competitive towards that company which I'm already in, if that makes sense. So hmm, then with this said, if I say th no thank you, I'm fine, don't try to persuade me and especially don't try to make me break any laws which would only backfire because why would i and especially after 15 years why why would i even try to mess up a work which i love to do so yeah if fiverr is a good company or not i have no idea because i've never worked with them i have no info about them i don't know but i will not sign up for anything without proof thank you Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay safe, and don't do anything that would get you uh, yeeted off a platform that you love to be on. So, take care. Mwah. Bye!